Okay, thank you, everyone. Chris, carry on. Um, it could be a wee while, actually. Um, at this moment in time, I, I really am, because it's, we're supporters, we're coaches, we watch for the side. But to put that much work in, and to stick to a game plan and be brave and try and meet England up the pitch um, and do very well and let them have one chance at goal in the first half, which is scored from one chance on target. And then to bring them in at half-time, and I can see in their eyes, I still believe, by sticking to what we're trying to do, we'll get there. Then we go out in the, the second half and have two chances and uh, don't capitalise. They go up and get their second shot on target. After that, it's got to be a long, long night. Uh, they stuck at it, could be a set play. And then when it gets to 3 nothing, game's finished at that point. And uh, you can forget the last 15 minutes when England are playing keep ball. Nothing against that. We'll do that myself. And if we're 3 nothing up, and want to make sure we never got any, any tackles or anything like that. Um, so at this moment in time, it's, uh, I feel really proud of it, the, the way they played and the way they went about their job and had no fear of the game. At the same time, I feel really, really hurt that they had to go through that last 15 minutes after putting so much in it and believing what we're trying to do. Um, so I've told them to go away. I come here with a team that got beat 3 nothing, 3 one and literally didn't have a shot of goals from Scotland. And uh, funny enough, some of them are pundits now. Um, nothing like that. That was a braver, more organised performance. So they can go away and... and, and the families who turned up, families who are watching them and support us um, can be proud of what they did. Because I don't think I could ask any more in terms of what they have got in their locker. We just need a wee break now and then, or a wee bit of magic to finish off. So it's a bit of a long summary, but that's the way I feel it at the moment. In a way, really down for the lads, but proud of them what they try to do. How pivotal those two chances when it's 1-0 and it's prior to their... Huge. It's huge. And, and what you've got with class players is sometimes when even like Sturridge's first header, you think, well, that's a hard header. Because we've had headers to have a chance. And uh, it goes in. And that's what you get with world-class players, I'm afraid, when you're on the other side. Because that was the, cause even that didn't come from a move that we expected. I mean, it was a block shot comes out. and Anything that they try to do, which we thought was going to happen, never materialised for them. He, listen, a lot of them have got to be pleased with themselves. I mean, a lot of them. Lee Wallace in particular, I just thought was phenomenal. Phenomenal. Now, it's got somebody that's been at the, the team for a couple of years. Never said a thing, just got on with it and comes back and plays brilliant. Realistically, where do you think this stage is? Well, I, um, we're going to have a way and have, have a wee look at it now. And then we go away and have a debrief, see how we're getting on. But this time it's very hard to take in anything. Seriously, take in anything. It's not the time to think about it. As I say, I do feel for that group in there um, because that wasn't fair. There's games that sometimes it's no fair and that wasn't fair on them. Accepting that England's the, the best, the strongest team in the group, that shape, that discipline, that performance tonight against Slovenia and Slovakia... I've got to say, so did Slovakia, it's certainly certain points, you know, where that game was, it was easy for us at, at certain times in the game and, and done a lot of things right. I'm just speaking to speak, Chief Exec, they said, well, we played well again at Slovakia, you know, but there's points where <coughs> top teams seem to punish us. Well, it's they're that good or we have to work at one or two things. I don't think. But I've got to say, I don't know if we can work any harder than we do, to be honest with you. In terms of playing and training and, and doing coaching. Do you think your optimistic outlook is reflected by what the SFA um, look at when they're assessing you and the form of the team and the chance to make in the World Cup? Uh, I don't know. I think, as I said, that was Stuart Regan says, it was, we can't kind of believe that it's 3 0 in Slovakia and 3 0 in England. He says, you can't believe that. Um, but I think what you're referring to, then, I, I think you've got the wrong man. Because if anybody thinks at this moment in time I'm thinking about myself, you're wrong. I've got to think about all these guys in there. I mean, really, they've been tremendous for me. And, and, and again tonight, okay, we might not be the best in the world, but 
you get the best out of them. You got nobody can talk about passion or anything like that. So, at this moment in time, I'm thinking only about them, only about them. Final, final questions, please. Chris. As I said, at this moment of time, if you think I'm thinking about myself right at this moment of time, then you don't know me. Sorry? That's the same thing, is it, no? Well, I've just, I've just said to you, if you think I'm thinking about that at this time, you don't know me. You absolutely don't know me. If you think I'm th sitting here worried about myself or how I feel, you're wrong, completely wrong. If you think I come in here and think about myself when all these guys have been through that, all the families travelled down here and supporters travelled down here, and you actually think I'm thinking about myself. Will there come a time where you will think about it? Yeah, probably when I'm just about to die. I'll think, how'd you get on, Gordon? No bad life. You know, apart for that. No, but this might, no, at the moment in time, as I said to you, even the questions just now, it's absolutely nothing to do with me. And what I've got to think about is everybody in that dressing room. How we send them back to their clubs that they're not down, they shouldn't be down. I've got to send them back feeling they've given it their best shot. So they go to their clubs and continue their good work. Okay. Final one, Chris. Sorry, Chris. The effort that they put in, the commitment they gave you, as well as the fans. Yeah. And we know that these are the best players that, that Scotland has available. Do you feel almost a commitment to, to, to carry on through this campaign, to, to allow them, this group, if you like, to continue the work? And, and perhaps it's, it's far from over. Well, Chris, as, as I said to you, I'll go away now and, uh, like most people, I'll go and see if my family are all right, because they you know, they come to the game and they want you to do well. I'll go and see them, I'll have a talk to them. And then we'll debrief with uh, everybody, everybody else. But at this moment, I think the game was cruel to them tonight, really cruel to them. And in life, if you put that much work in, somewhere along the line, the game has got to get good for you. Okay, thank you. Okay, thanks everybody, thank you. Safe journey home.